हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर हैप्पी हेल्दी एंड फाइन एट होम सो व्हाट डिड वी लर्न यस्टरडे और व्हाट डिड वी डिस्कस यस्टरडे यस्टरडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ हाइड्रोक्सिल ग्रुप बाय यूजिंग द फॉलोइंग रिएजन रिएजन नंबर वन आई थिंक एम ओ एम सेकेंड वन इज अम ई एम एंड थर्ड वन इज अम आई पी सो यूज एज अ इथर ऐट वॉट कंडीशन इट इज इंट्रोड्यूस ऐट वॉट कंडीशन इट इज अ रिमोड एंड ऐट वॉट कंडीशन दे आर द स्टेबल विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू धीस थ्री पॉइंट वी हैव लर्न दैट वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट the protection of 1 2 and 1 3 diols and as we know that 1 1 2 or 1 3 diols di di indicator is a 2 means di hydroxy group present may be at a 1 3 position that is known as a 1 2 diols when that hydroxy groups are present at 1 3 position which is known as 1 3 diols so here first one we are going to start about the cyclic acetal and the ketal formation and as we know that acetal formation and the ketal formation and when we are using as a aldehyde and whatever formation is a uh it is specifically uh, with that carbonyl group at a tybsc level you have learned when the carbonyl group is get protected with the uh, what we can call it as a acetone and that form as a acetal formation that rings are there uh, if aldehyde if you use as a starting material or use as a substrate and if you use as a uh, what we can call it as a <coughs> cyclic 1 2 uh, diols and then and then cyclic compound are form uh, with the help of that uh, ketone that we can call it as a uh, ketal so these are regarding acetal with the aldehyde group and the ketal with the uh, ketone group so that are the cyclic first one we are going to learn about the cyclic acetal and the ketals first one let us see uh, first example first one we are going to uh, learn about the 1 to diols first one about the cyclic 1 to diols and for as per as a 1 to diols is concerned uh, consider here diols that 1 to diols get protected the protecting group always use as a acetone in presence of the anhydrous a uh, hydrochloric acid and therefore it is introduced under the uh, mild acidic condition whereas it is removed under the mild uh, basic uh, acidic condition and it is a uh, stable at oxidizing as well as reducing reagent and the basic condition so there uh, these are the thing you have to remember as per as this protection of the 1 to diol is concerned now let us see here first example is as we know that this one ch2 oh then ch oh another one ch2 oh there are three hydroxy groups are there and therefore it is called as a glycerol right it is known as a glycerol or we can call it as a glycerin also Gly glycerin that is a common name and glycerol there are hydroxy group and uh, last suffix is ol indicate as a hydroxy groups are there and this is a backbone of the lipid this we can call it as a backbone of lipid right and lipid uh, uh, lipid what do you mean by the lipid it is a sodium sort of Uh, or we can call it as a, or sometime it is referred as a fat and fat which are present in the oils or this is a glycerol so now what we are going to see here if this compound glycerol treated with acetone in presence of h plus means anhydrous anhydrous 
hydrochloric acid what is going to happen the speciality of that acetone it is a protected the one two diol adjacent uh, diol get protected by using that acetone and therefore it has a, it is highly specific only hydroxy one two hydroxyl group get protected and what what do you get here you are going to get here this one ch2 oh o o and this type of the compound so ch O C S three C S three. Here is the acetone. Here C H and here C H two. I am writing as this one. And now when this uh, group, uh, this is a one two diol protected, or we can call it as a kettle protection. This is known as a kettle protection. And this protel uh, kettle protection are very very stable at oxidizing reagent or reducing reagent or uh, you know basic conditions are there is highly stable and therefore you can transfer this is a primary alcohol if you use here uh, pcc means pyridium chlorochromate what do you get aldehyde and deprotective you will get as a glyceraldehyde right so that is a uh, there and once the aldehyde group is there and that aldehyde group is a more reactive one you can treat with any base you will get as a imine formation or the uh, what we can call it as a sip base formations are there or if you treat this compound with uh, acetone uh, what we can call it as acetophenone or some uh, 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 what we can call it as a ketone further aldol type of the condensation reaction takes place and you will get as a formation of the salcone there are so many things are there but uh, but let's uh, let us see here acetylations are there and if this compound is uh, treated with the uh, benzoyl chloride type of or you can take here cs3 then ch2 four times c double bond o cl and this is a highly reactive group acetyl group or you can, instead of this you can use as a ph a ph c double bond o cl what is going to happen there is a esterification reaction takes place here esterification and this primary alcohol get converted into as a ester group so what do you get here you are going to get here this one then here uh, o then ch2 four time uh, not uh, this one so that is a uh, because this is going to attack on that carbonyl group and CL is a departure group C double bond O then uh, CH2 four time and methyl group CS3 and this remains as it is O and then this one this is nothing but as a methyl group CS3 CS3 or ME ME we can call it and in this way we can convert that hydroxyl group get protected here now uh, then deprotection here you can use as a acidic condition H plus what is going to happen this bond here cleaved and you are going to get as a resulting compound will be this one then O C double bond O then CH2 four times CS3 and this one OH and here also as a OH that is a deep protection of that acetone that you will get so in this way we can uh, we can do the uh, we can do the protection of one two diol by using as a ketone we can be this uh, protection can be done by using as a acetone in presence of the anhydrous HCl. so this is a very simple protection for one two diol now let us move on to the next one next one is a one three diol instead of there second point we are going to learn here that is a one one three diodes one three diodes here a uh, one a uh, one three diodes uh, in this case what is the uh, reagent which can protect the diode so here generally cho in presence of zinc chloride right zinc chloride is a lewis acid and in presence of Lewis acid we can introduce the 
बेंजल्डे हाइड इनटू सस टाइप ऑफ द कंपाउंड नाउ लेट अस टेक एज अ स्टार्टिंग कंपाउंड इज दिस वन ग्लिसरोलडे हाइड एंड नाउ व्हाट आर यू गोइंग टू गेट हियर लेट अस सी हियर फर्स्ट वन सेम स्टार्टिंग कंपाउंड वी आर गोइंग टू यूज एज अ ग्लिसरोल हियर दिस वन फर्दर टीटेड विथ आई एम गो ओनली चेंजिंग द रिएजेंट हियर इन अ प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल आई हैव टेकन असेटोन इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ अनहाइड्रस एस एल एंड वॉट वी वॉट वी गॉट वी गॉट एज अ वन टू वन टू डायोल प्रोटेक्शन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज एज अ पी एच सी डबल बॉन्ड वो एच इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ झिंक क्लोराइड राइट झिंक क्लोराइड when zinc chloride is used there it is a function as a lewis acid and that lewis acid further uh, you are going to get here the compound is like this for for this i am writing here this structure in this fashion ch here hydroxy group here and then ch2o then CH2O, then there will be hydrogen atom and here pH is there. So this is a 1,3 diol, uh, sorry 1,3, 1,3 diol protection or it is called as acetal, acetal, acetal protection. It is known as a acetal protection. Acetal why acetal? There is a aldehyde group. and therefore it is a acetal protection and specifically at uh, the uh, hydroxy group get protected at 13 position remember that is a speciality of that benzaldehyde in presence of the zinc chloride over there and now the d protection is done uh, is done with uh, done by the hydrogenolysis and as we know that hydrogenolysis hydrogenolysis means uh, the reagent you know that s2 in presence of the uh, uh, palladium charcoal and therefore hydrogenolysis that is uh, treated with this process is called as a hydrogenolysis hydrogenolysis h2 palladium in presence of the charcoal now uh, uh, before that we can add Uh, before that let me uh, uh, not the deep protection here first carry out the reaction by using another reagent cs3 ch2 four time c double bond o cl acetylation uh, uh, carry out this reaction esterification that is a secondary alcohol which is going to react with that uh, carbonyl group that carbonyl group is a highly electropositive in nature and therefore secondary alcohol is attacking easily and there is a departure of here chlorine and hydrogen from here hcl fumes goes in the atmosphere the resulting compound form here will be this one ch o then c double bond o ch2 four time then cs3 and rest of the thing remains as it is ch2o then ch2o then this one h and this ph ph is a phenyl group and now you can carry out the reaction for d protection and d protection can be done by using the hydrogenolysis that is a hydro hydrogenolysis hydrogenolysis and as we know that the reagent used for it is to palladium in presence of the charcoal and therefore here just hydrogen atom here hydrogen atom over there and you are going to get the final product will be this one ch then ch2oh this ch2oh terminal 13 position hydroxy group get uh, free air uh, obtain as it is then o c double bond o ch2 four time and cs3 that's it so in this way remember the protection of 12 diol 
द रिएजंट सुटेबल रिएजंट यूज एज असेटोन इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ अनहाइड्रस एस सी एल एंड इट इज रिमोड बाय यूजिंग एज एसिडिक कंडीशन दैट इज अ डायल्यूट एस सी एल इज यूज देअर टू डी प्रोटेक्ट दैट वन टू डायोस दैट आर द मेन पॉइंट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर एज फर एज अ वन टू डायोल प्रोटेक्शन इज कंसर्न प्रोटेक्शन इज अ कंसर्न नाउ सेकंड वन फॉर एज फर एज अ वन थ्री डायोल वन थ्री डायोल प्रोटेक्शन इज देअर देन देर इज ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर देर इज अ बेन्जर डे हाइड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ झिंक क्लोराइड दैट वन थ्री डायोल गेट प्रोटेक्टेड बाय धीस रिएजंट एंड देन फर्दर यू कैन कैरी आउट द रिएक्शन नेसेसरी कैरी आउट द रिएक्शन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड यू कैन ऑप्टेन द डिजायर्ड प्रोडक्ट एंड दैट ओरिजिनल प्रोडक्ट इज इजीली ऑप्टेन बाय ट्रीटिंग दैट कंपाउंड विद द हाइड्रोजनोलिस एंड वी विल गेट दैट ओ एच ग्रुप इज फ्री हियर for further reaction so this is all about the one two diodes and now let us move on to the next point next point we are going to talk about the cis diodes now next one we are going to talk about the cis diodes so for cis diode cis means what as we know that these are the isomers cis and trans that type of the isomer as we know that cis means what if it is related to as a carbon carbon double bond similar group are on the same side of the carbon carbon double bond is termed as a cis isomer trans means what the similar group are on the opposite side of the carbon carbon double bond is known as a trans isomer but in case of the cyclic compounds are there if both the compounds if both the uh, substituent are present on the same side of the general plane is known as a cis isomer whereas if they are opposite uh, of that general plane that is termed as a trans isomer so here we are going to talk about third one is a cis diol only cis diols and for that we are going to consider here the example is a this one that is a sugar pento sugar we are going to consider here here o c s 3 let us see here uh, then add this this one is a ph cis diol means oh and here also as a oh 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 are on the same side and therefore it is termed as a cis diol they are also termed as a one two diols now here for what we are going to prepare here we are going to prepare as a ribose here right we are going to pre uh, prepare the ribose in this case so ribose what will be the structure of ribose the structure of ribose will be this one we are going to prepare the structure like this oh oh i think this one oh and here will be i think this one o then p double bond o oh and oh this type of the compound we are going to prepare here that is known as a ribose right so ribose we are going to this is a phosphate sugar we are going to prepare here now this is our starting compound and as we know that we are going to treat this compound with the co cl2 co co2 is known as a phosphine this is known as a phos phosphine and this phosphine is a highly poison a uh, highly poison and therefore it is a carcinogenic and it is not uh, not used in the ordinary lab there while preparation while using this phosphine as a very poisonous gas so uh, precautions are uh, taken highly equipped instrument as well as precautions are 
uh, taken there and the reactions are carried out this reaction goes very smoothly and that is specifically known for the protection of uh, uh, cis diodes and now we are going to get here this one uh, here o, o then this type of the carbonate type of the compound and now here o cs3 remains as it is and now this protected uh, this functional group also as a remains at as it is so now what we did we protected as a cis12 diode and now we are going to uh, make this compound is a free so that is a ester cleavage for ester cleavage uh, not ester for ether cleavage what is the reagent use the reagent use as a acidic medium specifically as a hydrogen bromide is used here hbr that is the, the bond between that carbon and the oxygen hetero bond get cleaved here cleavage of bond cleavage of bond takes place and we are going to get here is a this compound let us see here this compound then o o this remains as it is here only oh we are going to get here o then this ph look at this one and now further we are going to train now oh is a free so the it can be treated with the uh, this type of the compound what do you get if you treat with this compound uh, ph ch2 o twice then p double bond o cl this type of the compound oh is going to attack over there phosphorus and then cl get departure and what what are you going to get here you are going to get here this type of the product then this let us see here o o then this one now here o c double bond o right not c double bond o that is a p double bond o then o ch2 ph then o ch2 ph you can write there are the two groups are there benzoyl type of the group instead of that this you can use as a benzoyl bn as we know that and here this is o then ph further then do the hydrogenolysis now after the hydrogenolysis what do you get hydrogenolysis hydrogenolysis it is a process to break the benzylic specifically benzylic heteroatom uh, whether it is oxygen atom or nitrogen atom that get cleaved there and the reagent normally for hydrogen uh, hydrogenolysis we are using h2 palladium in presence of the charcoal what do you get this bond is going to break this bond is going to break and the side product is a toolin but specifically what do you get here you are going to get here this one o o then c double bond here just right here o then this one o o c double bond o and now here what do you get here o then p double bond o oh and here oh and on this side we are going to get this group remains as it is right now further now we are going to deprotect this by using as a specific reagent that is a lithium hydroxide in presence of the water that carbonate get cleaved and we are going to get the final product ribose is like this this is a compound we are oh and here oh here is a o then p double bond o oh and oh here this is a oh right no here remember here also becomes as a h there oh 
uh, here this bond get clue this get clue this is also get clue and we are going to get as a this type of the compound and this compound is nothing but as a ribose understood this this is a <coughs> one of the example of cis diol now let us look at the second example where second example we are going to learn here so this type of the here second example will be this one that is a oh then this side this always oh and then here is a n then n there is a double bond and here methyl group here is a hydrogen atom here double bond o this double bond o and this is a one of the base that is called as a thymine thymidine this is known as a thymidine and this is a 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash which is known as a deoxy ribose sugar this is known as a deoxy ribose ribose sugar sugar d oxy d oxy means what at a two position there is a no hydroxy group and, the, and that's why it is called as a d oxy ribo sugar because in our body all the functions are depending upon that uh, this type of the reactions are carrying out there and that is a uh, thymidine is a base here and when this base is a further treated with let us see this reaction step by step what you are how do we get the nucleotides are there in a protein synthesis this type of the reactions are generally taking place so let us see here first one as we know that oh and here primary alcohol and this one oh is a secondary alcohol when you are treating this compound in presence of ph3 ccl in presence of pyridine this reaction is carried out at a uh, basic medium this is a triphenyl methane chloride or it is known as a trityl chloride and this uh, trityl chloride is a uh, uh, specifically reacting with the primary alcohol primary alcohol it do not get reacted with the secondary alcohol that is a speciality of this triphenyl chloride so pyridine as we know that the function of pyridine pyridine will abstract the uh, proton and form as a carbonyl there uh, form as a negative charge and therefore you are going to get the product here this one and instead of writing as a this whole group you can write only as a just th means uh, thymidine thymidine you can consider here here specifically here o then c ph3 that type of the compound get protected and oh as it is then this compound further treated with acetic anhydride ac2o is known as a acetic anhydride acetic anhydride you know that the structure of acetic anhydride cs3 c double bond o o c double bond o cs3 right here this is acetyl group this is acetyl group 2 is there and therefore we can call it as a ac2o now here this uh, o then this will be reacted with this is a thymine as it is and now this side this group they are as it is ph3 and now this hydroxy group get reacted with uh, like this and then departure of one acetate group and you are going to get oac here right both the hydroxyl group get protected here now uh, now treat this compound with the acetic acid in a acidic medium what you are going to get here if you treat this compound in presence of the acetic acid aco oh that is the acidic medium is used there 
then that acid only deprotected by this bulkier group and you are going to get the product here this one uh, thymine TH you can write in short as a TH and this OAC remains as it is and only this group get deprotection this is a deprotection protection of this uh, uh, H plus means protecting here that becomes as a positive one here H plus and then uh, this bond get cleaved uh, so then this bond get cleaved there OH and positive charge and that positive charge will stabilize due to the three phenyl groups are there and that's why it is easily cleaved deprotection can be done by using as a acetic anhydride and then now this group is a free and this group further treated with this one this one pH CH2 then O twice P double bond O Cl right now this OH is going to attack again on the this phos uh, phos uh, phosphorus group and we are going to get here this product this one let us see here O then then P double bond O then O then pH then another one O then this pH and this OAC as it is right and this thymine it is also as a as it is so that is the thing uh, we got here after that do the hydrogenolysis after treating with this H2 in presence of palladium charcoal this process is known as a hydrogenolysis and in a hydrogenolysis what is going to happen this benzylic group is going to get cleaved and you are going to get here the product will be this one the add here th is a thymine as it is in short we are writing oac it is also as a as it is now here o then p double bond o then ho and here o ho right this is the product we got here after that this will be treated with barium barium hydroxide barium hydroxide is a base we can use here barium hydroxide oh2 and what it will do it will form the barium sort of uh, nucleotides and therefore you are going to get the product like this here thymine th that is thymine as it is then oac that is also as it is but here o then p double bond o o minus charge and o minus charge here barium 2 plus that barium sort of here barium salt of nucleotide we got and after treating this compound in a acidic medium H plus what do you get you are going to get here this compound here is a thymine as it is then this also get deprotected here you are going to get as OH and then here O then P double bond O then OH similar OH that is nothing but as a nucleotides right nucleotides so in this way that is a utility of this cis in we I think with this we have seen or we talked about the uh, this 1 2 and 1 3 diol protection how it is useful in the carbohydrate or in a sugar chemistry that we have learned point to point so uh, i think with this let us stop today here remaining we will see the next time uh, before uh, next time thank you have a nice day